bringing up the rear will be Monty's man, the Miles Messenger. It is the sticking. In the company of two of the last three remaining airworthy examples of this ab initio RAF trainer from the 1940s. It is the Miles Magister. A 1229, to be absolutely precise before you correct me. Now, it's interesting that when it entered service in 37, it was a bit of a culture shock for training pilots. They were stepping out of a Tiger Moth, an open cockpit biplane, into a monoplane, a close cockpit monoplane. And this was supposed to be kind of like a halfway house to get them used to monoplane handling and not having that second wing. And that is a task which it did superbly well. 130 miles an hour. Reasonable top speed on 130 horsepower, which is a major one in the nose. <laughs> My son is now in his early 30s and looks like a white man with his big beard. When he was a, a little blonde haired young lad of about six, I think it was, I brought him here with me to do a commentary for a, an air show and uh, we were talking on the way home about the planes that we saw and the ones that he'd like them flying in the world so it's the rarity factor which for you know a kid of six years old I thought was uh, pretty profound Tim said quite a culture shock for the pilots to step out of the Tiger Moth into the, uh, the monoplane Magister. It was an aircraft that was well suited as a staging machine uh, between uh, the basic training that they'd received and the uh, frontline fighters like the Spitfire and the Hurricane that they would go on to fly in uh, battle. There's a goodly number of uh, Magisters in museums, a couple of which are they're actually Hawk Trainer 3s, which have just been painted in uh, camouflage. As I said, not a lot of difference between the military equipment and the radio and so on. And John Hurrell, Bob Borkham, flying the Magisters for us today, so we're joined over here by the racing aircraft. Nice too. Talk speed six and another machine that you can look at and say yes that is definitely a product of the 1930s this dating from about 1935 